Hey everyone, Maria Mitchell here bringing you another face painting tutorial. Thanks for tuning in again. Today I want to show you how to face paint a very simple, easy, super quick, fast princess crown. You can achieve this in under two minutes or under one minute when you really get practice and you get good at it. Super handy to know for when you're really busy on the job and you've got a whole bunch of kids that you need to paint and you really need to pull out some quick and easy designs. I'm using a split cake by Global Colors called Kalahari. Um, the link is down below in the description of where you can get these um, as well as a three quarter inch flat brush a liner brush which are very long and thin um, and a number four round brush for your teardrops and of course white that's all you will need so grab your face painting kit and let's get painting I've loaded up my three quarter inch flat brush with um, Kalahari split cake by uh, Global Colors and I've loaded it right up to the bottom of the ferrule because I really want this to last um, on my brush. If you're not too sure on how to load your brush, check out my video on how to load it up efficiently with split cakes. So I'm going to start off um, by doing this center uh, piece let's call it in the middle here so I'm going to um, make sure that the pink is facing downward and I just want to achieve a loop so putting your brush vertically flat and then doing a loop up and around what I want to do is do it continue it so I'm going to flip the brush so the light is facing downward and I want to hug that with a stroke up so starting at the bottom in a bit of a diagonal like that and then bringing it ar out around and then flicking it up just like that and then on the other side doing exactly the same on a diagonal bringing it up around and flicking it up making sure that the pink is facing upward I'm going to go one step um, a little bit further upward from the baseline of that centerpiece and I'm going to have my my brush on a diagonal and I'm going to do another little loop just like that and on the other side same thing side by side a little loop from where the centerpiece curves in and goes out, I want to start here with the lighter part of the color facing inward. And I'm going to have my, my brush quite uh, flat, but on the diagonal. And I'm going to do a little curve down to meet with that loop. Flipping it around and on the diagonal again, flat around and then right next to that loop and then with the pink facing up again I want to now do a series of loops so dragging it diagonally to complete it and then loop and then diagonally again and then loop on the other side on an angle at the bottom of that previous one dragging it out and then loop it down right next to that one dragging it out and looping it downward and because we've loaded our brush nicely and heavily right down to the ferrule um, it's we've just done this with one load of the brush we haven't had to reapply and now with your number four round brush loaded with some white I'm going to do a teardrop from thick and then to thin right down there from thick pressing down curving it around finishing right at the loop from up the top I just want to swirl it up and around just to give it a bit of a um, decorative look so up and around as we pull off to complete this we're going to do some teardrops the biggest teardrop coming right down from thick to thin second biggest third biggest 
fourth biggest and then they just keep getting smaller as they come to the bottom. We'll do that on the other side. Teardrops are a great way just to dress up designs. So we're doing this in a very short amount of time being a quick design so we just want to accentuate the design with teardrops. And now from here on all we want to do is just outline it. So from here outline, carrying it along, around to the end and again around this little swell around this loop and the last loop and to finish off some teardrops down the bottom just to tie it all in together so a, a long one not so long and then the smallest one so there you have it really simple princess design if you have more time to play with you can use your liner brush um, to make some stars and dots I recommend keeping your liner brush on the watery side when you pick up your white to do some starbursts and some dots so it's almost kind of watery if you play around with it um, sample it on your hand and then he from here you can do some some little dots around and some stars if you like so just out and then we'll do one next door to him one stroke out out and out picking the brush up as we're flicking out and another one just some simple little dots and and a star out 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 excuse my hair it's in the way lots of flyaways here flyaway hairs and then the last little stars it's nice to cluster stars together you can also put some dots right down the middle if you like depending on how much time you have um, once you spritz some glitter on this put some chunky um, glitter on the side some pixie paint would look absolutely stunning and vibrant and you've done it in under a minute um, or two minutes easily so Make sure you practice this one. It's super handy to know when you're trying to bust those really long lines and get through a whole ton of kids at a kids party or an event. I'd love to see your princess crown. So make sure that you tag me on any of my social media platforms or here on Facebook with your pictures of your beautiful princess crowns that you can do under two minutes. I would love to see them. I hope you've loved this tutorial. Once again, hit the like button if you did like it. And if you like these tutorials, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell button so you know when my next tutorial comes out. I bring out a face painting lesson every week. So if you have any requests please put your comments down below I would love to show you what I know but until next time happy painting